Hi everyone, I'm really excited to be sharing today the Salesforce integration with you, which we've been working really hard on. And I'd say that let's jump right into it and look at how we can start building data-driven applications that utilize both Salesforce and 8Base data. So starting in my workspace home, I'm gonna navigate over to the data builder, and then we can add external data sources as a table, right? So if we go to click external data source, we have an option, which is now the Salesforce integration. And clicking that, we can select to create the integration. If you wanted to rename it, you could, but we'll just leave it with the default Salesforce. Cool. Now that that integration is added, I'm gonna have to go log in to my Salesforce account. To log in, let's just click connect. It's gonna ask you to authenticate to your Salesforce account. I have a Salesforce developer account, though if you had access to Salesforce data through your Salesforce instance, you could log into that account as well. So let me just enter my Salesforce credentials. Boom. And it will bring me back to the 8Base app. So essentially what's happening right now is it is pulling in your data schema from Salesforce. So you look at all the tables you have on your Salesforce account. And by default, that's like over 250 something tables. And if you had customized your Salesforce farther, uh, that will include your customized tables. However, once it's pulled those in, as we can see that's done here with that success message, let's click on add tables. So now back in our data builder, we see that there's this new section over on the right left hand side, which is Salesforce. And from it, we have four tables, which is account, contact, lead and opportunity. If we were to click select tables, we could go through all the different tables that we have stored in Salesforce, right? And then select one of those to import it. For example, order product feed. If I select it, it's gonna add the table to, uh, to my 8Base workspace. So we can see here all the data that's stored or all the field types that are stored on the table as well as the uh, data types that they're stored as. And if we wanted to, we could even add custom fields to these tables, which is pretty cool. However, what I wanna show is that, for example, in this um, application, let's say that we have brokers and brokers have leads. We could say a broker has many leads, so let's allow multiple leads per broker. Cool, and then create that relationship. Right. So what's really neat about that is now we have two different tables, one table in 8Base that's related to another table in Salesforce. Right. And we can query that already through our GraphQL API. So just for fun, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to data, my broker's data, and I'm going to edit this first record. And I'm going to say, hey, it has a few different leads. The Salesforce developer account added some dummy data um, or seed data to my developer account. So I already have some records in there. So I will submit those changes. Cool. And then I'm just going to go into show the ID so I can look up this broker. Awesome. And now let's jump over to the API Explorer. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look up that broker. So let's do a query. Whoa. Ah. Let's do a query. Cool. And let's look up that broker by their ID. Okay, we got a string. Oh, what I got here? Oh, there we go. Awesome. Okay. And so now if we wanted to, we could see that, hey, there's all these different brokers or this all the different fields on the broker. Let's just uh, return the lead. It would be lead. So let's update the name of that relationship. So if we go back to broker, and we say broker has many leads. Cool. That makes more sense. Awesome. Now we go back here. So now we say that they have many leads. Cool. And on that, we want to know how many leads they have. And then for each lead they have, we want this data, which is the name and the title and the company. Once again, all of which is stored in Salesforce. So let's run this query. And that's exactly what we got back. Right. And so remember, this query could be executed against your workspace endpoint now. So no matter what client application you are building, uh, you now have a unified access to both the data stored in 8Base as well as the data stored in Salesforce. And of course, if we wanted to, we wouldn't have to go through that table that we had created in 8Base, which is the brokers table. What do I mean by that? So for example, let's write another query where we were to say, hey, this query is going to be a lead list right and for every lead 
that there is. Whoop. One second, let me fix that. So there's a count of leads, and then for every lead there is, which is stored under items, we want... Oh, here, one second. We got the wrong leads table. So let's go to Salesforce. That's it. Namespace there. Then in Salesforce, we had a lead list. Cool. And if I fix that there, all right. Now, when we look at the fields that are on the lead table, we can say, hey, we want the last name and the first name. All right, do that. And now we see all the leads that we have stored in our Salesforce account, right? So right now, this integration is a, a read-only integration. So you are only able to query it. However, we are soon to release the ability to also push updates to the Salesforce data. So this opens a really, 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 you know, all seemingly infinite range of possibilities uh, for applications that you could develop, right? So whether or not you're working with a client that has Salesforce or uses Salesforce in their business and you could develop custom applications for them, or you have access to your own Salesforce data and would like to use it or expose it in different ways, um, this is probably one of the easiest to use Salesforce APIs available in the market. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments in the video and we'll be updating the documentation shortly. Thank you.